Hello and welcome. So I made this electronic birthday card for the Amstrad CPC 464. So you enter your birthday and today's date and then wishes you happy birthday. But if it's not actually your birthday, then it tells you how many months or days left. And here are the other combinations announcing what other birth years you share with certain computers. <laughs> Hello, so now I'm going to look at the code briefly. Full code is downloadable from my site, link in the video description. So this is written in BASIC, which was a programming language you typically use with the Amstrad CPC computers. So from the beginning, we just a few remarks, we set some colors, and we set up a number of variables. And then we jump to our main routine at 1000. The first thing we do is we draw the banner, which is what I call the asterisk around the edge of the screen. Next, we need to get two dates from the user, the user's birthday and the current date. So we do that by setting up a number of parameters and then we call 200. So if we go to there, so this routine gets the dates from the user. Now there isn't total error checking here, you can enter invalid dates, but I perhaps saw that out in a later version. I did this in a very short time frame, so I had to leave out some error checking. And then when it returns from there, we just have to get the other dates. So it's the same function, we just pass different parameters. Then we do a check to see if today's date is the same as the user's birthday. If it is, then we go to line 1040. If not, we go to 1060. So if it is the person's birthday, then we display the birthday message, we draw the cake, and we play the music. So we'll look at that now. So we go to 300, okay. So first of all, put together the message that's displayed. For example, happy 37th birthday. So we work out whether to put ST, ND, or RD on the end, and we construct that string. We also check for certain birth years, a nice little Easter egg. So if the user is born in 77, then it says that your birth year is shared with the Tandy TRS-80 Model 1, and so on. Obviously I could have done a lot more computers, but I was just trying to keep things as simple as possible. And again, obviously there are lots of ways to improve this program, but I was very limited on time. Okay, and then we return from that. If it isn't actually the user's birthday, as mentioned, we go to uh, 1060. So we display how long left to the person's birthday, and then we draw the cake. This is another example with the cake routine. Uh, if we go to that, we initially set up a color so the cake is a sort of sign color if it's a person's birthday. But if it isn't, it's drawn in a darker colour, it's meant to be dark cyan, so like the cake hasn't been unlocked. And to draw the cake, um, well I first of all drew it out in paint.net, 
uh, which is a free drawing graphics program. And then I looked at the individual pixels and I've drawn them. So it's plot, draw, 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 draw. But the CPC's drawing is quite limited. You could also possibly load up a bitmap or something. But again, I was short on time. So this is the way I did it. But it was quite painstaking. Anyway, that's drawing the cake. So if it isn't the person's birthday, we display how long left until their birthday. Now this isn't uh, that simple to do. You've got to take into account leap years because you have a different number of days in February. There are all sorts of complicated formulas, but I just kept things really simple. So basically, if there's a few days to your birthday, then it tells you how many days left. If there's months left to your birthday, it tells you how many months, but not how many days. As for playing the music, Happy Birthday, the famous tune, is in the public domain since 2017. But obviously some of these particular arrangement is still copyrighted unless they release it uh, into public domain also. So what I did is I took the notes of Happy Birthday to you and I set, I think it was a crotchet as the main note. And then what we do is in this data array, we just, we have a value that represents the notes frequency and then we have a, a multiplier value so if it's one then play it at crotchet length if it's 0 0.5 you play it half as fast if it's two you play it twice as long so we can get the timing of those notes so it's just a matter of going through each note's value and applying it to both channels sound one and two so you hear it in stereo however unfortunately when you had the same note in succession it just melds together. A solution I found was to define an envelope which determines how the note decays over time and then you could hear distinctly repeated notes in succession but that took me a long time to work out. Now after uh, either it's the person's birthday or not uh, we both end up in the same place which is we wait for the music to finish playing if it was playing and then we just add another little delay just using a simple loop. Then we clear the screen and then we go back to the main uh, routine uh, and it starts from the beginning asking you for the birthday and current day. 